Yeah, yeah let's <laughs> let's roll. <rather, laughs> let's start to minister. Okay, so Carolina, uh, I'm going to start with you. Uh, the Lord shows me a building that's built, and it's your ministry, your business, your life. Then I saw a pieces added on, and then I saw another pieces added on, and another pieces on, and it's almost like. I don't know if it's a family business or it's or if it's a community of people, but I see how the Lord adds to you and each one complements the next one and all starts on the same foundation, but it, it builds and it grows. And so I just felt that the Lord is setting you as a pioneer, is setting you as a, as a, like Jesus is the cornerstone of the church. In the same way, the Lord is setting you as a cornerstone in your family uh, and in your community for others to hook into you and you help them and they help you. God bless you, Carolina. Amen. God bless you, Carolina. God loves you. This next word is for Ben Huda. Ben Huda, the Lord loves you so much. And the picture God showed me for you, you know, just how Jesus took the bread and he broke it and, and it just multiplied. There was just a massive, massive miracle. I see how the Lord gave you a bread and how the Lord says, multiply what I gave you. And something so humble as, as a piece of bread and then you break it and then it just, it just, I just feel the Lord says that what you have, I'm going to multiply it. I'm going to show my signs and wonders through you i'm going to use you in miraculous ways so don't look at the little things that you have right now and feel like it's nothing i just feel the lord says he is um there's something really wonderful that is coming and it's going to be great and be a big blessing to a lot of people including you and then lastly i just feel how god is just supernaturally healing you completely and how the lord says i've called you to prophesy life over yourself and that healing over yourself and i just feel that there's also just a yeah there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs of healing in your family keep on prophesying it and praying for it because I really feel that there's going to be just speak it with your mouth God loves you God bless you thank you Benuja for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for Mariette Mariette the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of the ocean where the water comes onto the sand and it just comes and goes and comes and goes and uh, you're looking at this and thinking well there's not much purpose in that because you don't see any results but the Lord says there is a purpose with everything in life. Even the mundane things in life like making food, cleaning house. There is a purpose with that as well. The challenge is meeting the Lord in your circumstances. Whether it's easy circumstances, difficult circumstances. Whether you're frustrated or you feel everything is fine. The Lord says focus on Him. Be aware that He's always with you. You need to realize that He wants to have a relationship with you. So you need to connect with Him in any state the more you're going to connect with him he's already there to connect with you be blessed Emma Maria please give us a comment next word is for Celeste Celeste the Lord shows me how this is an exciting time in your life and the Lord wants you to be very careful to keep your joy the Lord shows me how things are really moving how they have found a rhythm and how they are building up a pace and getting into routine and the Lord shows me that don't lose sight of what is really important it is that relationship with the Lord other things need to be built but that relationship needs to be you know sustained it needs to it needs to be be firm it has to it can't be um, left alone because okay that's stable it, it's something that you always need to work on I hear the Lord saying that you need to rejoice and just sing like this beautiful praise to the Lord, praise Him and, and receive His joy because this is really an exciting time for you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Celeste, uh, God bless you. Um, so family, uh, we're going to minister to um, the group of people that we put on a list and then afterwards we are going to have communion together tonight. So I've got right here next to me communion for all of us that are here. So if you would like to stay to the end, please, uh, you can bring some bread and uh, juice or whatever you want to use for your communion and you can have communion with us uh, I also see Benuya uh, gave us uh, an amount of money and I just want to say God bless you thank you very much okay, so the next person I want to minister to is Layla okay uh, so Layla uh, I really felt that the Lord says that you're gonna fit in and where you felt you you don't have a space you don't have a place where you can be planted the Lord is making a way is is um, making enough space for you so that you with all your gifting your talents your personality can fit in that place where the lord is planting you to grow and i felt that the lord says although you sometimes felt oh maybe i should 
leave or this is not a comfortable place where I'm at right now I just felt that the Lord says no just uh, persist persevere endure and uh, wait on me trust in me and allow me to 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 inter, uh, um, intervene in a situation and the Lord is going to make a space for you where you can be comfortable where you can be planted and you can grow and flourish God bless you Amen God bless you Lailia Verb, you are such a blessing. This next word is for Tash Jane. So it's Jane, God loves you so much. And I, I just really feel how the Lord is just bringing you into His presence and loving on you. And then I saw a picture um, of how God gives you like a, a teaspoon of medicine. And this medicine represents joy. And I just feel the Lord says that I'm putting joy in your bones. I am restoring the joy that the enemy has taken in 2024. And I'm giving you a brand new joy. Not the joy from the past, but a joy of now uh, I just feel there's just a now thing that God is doing in your life right now and, and I feel that there's a lot of things in your life where you thought I wish I had that back I wish I had these certain things but I just feel the Lord is saying to you I'm giving you vision but I'm giving you a new hope for my new things that I want to do in your life and then lastly, I saw a picture of Psalm, um, Psalms 23, where the word says, your rod and staff, they come for me. And I just see how God is giving you a rod and staff um, for 2025. God loves you. God bless you. Thank you, Tasha and I, for being here tonight. Please remember, write to say comment. The next word is for Amanda. Amanda, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a key and a door, and the Lord says, use your key. Um, Sometimes it's a challenge to make a commitment and stick to a commitment and say, yes, Lord, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, but I feel that there's a covenant that you have with the Lord and you need to act on your part, on your behalf. You need to push through. Um, just trust the Lord. When you're going to do what you're supposed to do, I just see how the Lord says, walk through this door. It's going to be good. It's going to be lovely. But there's decisions in your life that you need to make. And the Holy Spirit will definitely be with you. I see when you make those decisions that things, there's, there will be a lot of understanding as well. So you're not going to be just left alone. You will have what you need. Be blessed. Mm -hmm. Amen, Amanda. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Jan. The Lord shows me Psalms 24 verse 4. Um, how um, the, the Lord gives he who has clean hands and a pure heart and does not um, like lift his soul to idols something something he will be blessed by the lord and i hear the lord saying that 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 is what i'm asking you to do now do not lift something up higher than the lord do not hold this thing higher than him not a relationship not a job because the the lord is is above all of those things when when jesus raised when jesus rose from the dead as he, as he literally rose, he's like, I'm above this principality. I'm above this. I'm above that. I'm above that. He, he was lifting up his name because he conquered all of that. And that is the relationship that you need to keep strong. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Jan, uh, God bless you. The Lord is also blessing you and your business. Uh, so family, uh, I just want to say, if you would like to receive ministry, write your name in the comments. Uh, we're going to only minister to a certain amount of people tonight. And then all the names that's above and beyond the names that were listed, I'll put them on my list and through the week uh, I'll make videos um, and we'll post them and we'll make sure that we uh, minister to you. So do not fear, if you would like to receive ministry, I'll make sure that we minister to each one of you. All right, so the next person is Mel. Mel, the Lord shows me a water container that's quite small and how it was filled uh, with the Holy Spirit and with the water of God in your life. And I saw how you were very faithful to give that water and to pour it out. Okay, And so the Lord had made, has made each one of us a vessel that carry the glory of God. But I see how the Lord says it's a time of expansion. And a lot of the, the things that happen to you in the spirit is how the Lord is just, uh, maturing you. He's making you bigger. He's giving you more authority, more anointing. He's filling you up and you can take responsibility over more people. You can minister to more people. And I just see that expansion, like maybe almost four times what it was. And so the, the Lord's hand is upon you and He's using you and He's promoting you. God bless you, Mel. Amen. God bless you, Mel. God loves you. This next word is for Maritza. Maritza, God loves you very much. While praying for you, um, I, I just felt how the Lord says, Maritza is very precious to me. I love her. And I saw how God placed like this, you know, like these camo gear, this camo gear that like, um, 
uh, you know, there's people in the army that they wear, um, and I just saw a God put this camouflage gear on you, and I just feel the Lord says, like, if for three, four months, He's going to hide you away in His presence, restoring your heart, healing you, um, and, and also, but at the same time, um, you're still going to have exposure to um, different things in your life, like encounters with the Holy Spirit, being obedient to God, um, being in different environments where you're going to move in God's presence. But I just see our God in this period of your life. He's right now, but it's only for like, I really felt it's going to be for three, four months where God is just going to pick you up and just hide you in his presence um, so that you can just like um, you can just get refilled with his fire again um, God loves you very much and I really feel there is a calling for you to reach out to young people there is a calling for you for worship and to really um, receive new creative ideas from God and solutions and answers that you've been trusting for for a long long time there's an invitation for you to come deeper into God's presence God loves you so much God bless you Thank you, Marissa, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Ellen. Ellen, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. On the big ships, you get a anchor, but on the anchor, you get a very heavy chain. Now, that, the purpose of that chain is not just to hold the anchor, but it's also to create drag uh, so that the ship is anchored and moves very difficultly. And I just see the chain in your life. There's a lot of things that are dragging you down that is... Uh, holding you back, issues that you need to resolve. Um, I see, sit down with a piece of paper, pray uh, for the Holy Spirit to help you uh, to resolve and give, get strategies for the challenges that you've got in your life. And then I just see how one by one they are getting less and less up until the drag is gone and you can, uh, your Christian walk will be so much more lovely, more practical. And I just see yeah. you won't be that, feel that tired feeling all the time. Be blessed. And the same word is for Zanel. The Lord shows me um, muscle pain and, and, and headaches. And, and I hear the Lord saying that, that what you like think, what you, your thoughts, the Lord shows me how they just manifest in your body. And the Lord shows me how He is coming to help you to just clear, clean out your thoughts, to, to bring you good thoughts, to set your, set your eyes on things above. I hear the Lord saying that it don't 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 set your 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 sights on things of this world set your sights on things above that because that's that's where he is that's what the lord is saying because like these these negative thoughts sometimes they they just start to appear in, in like real sickness in your body and i hear the lord saying that um don't let like your thoughts like um take you captive you must take your thoughts captive be blessed Hey, uh, Zanel, uh, God bless you. His hand is upon your life. Uh, and uh, Zanel, I just want to, uh, I just see how the Lord is training you. He's, how he, he's equipping you also spiritually. Hey, God bless you. Okay, so the next one is for Gina. Hey, uh, so Gina, the Lord loves you very, very much. He's really giving you a sparkling personality. I just see how it's easy for you to open up and to love people uh, around you. Uh, but the Lord is giving you in the season a platform where you can stand and where you can join in with others and you can minister and I see uh, you're like a link in a chain and how the chain is there uh, and how the, the chain link in on your one side and how the chain link in on the other side and now you are part of the team and you can minister and you can flow and you protect it and you're under the covering of God uh, and you got input and also you have a, a way to release and so uh, there was frustration at both in you because you couldn't minister to others but the Lord is giving you that platform to do it and I really believe that you're going to be a massive blessing to many in the body of Christ. God bless you, Gina. Amen. God bless you, Gina. God loves you. This next word is for Johanna. Johanna, God loves you so much. And while praying for you, I saw a picture of how God gave you, this is the picture, God gave you a mission to build this house, this beautiful house in this beautiful area. And you got the place. God showed you this is the right place. You're going to be on stone. Um, and then I saw how there was this big pile of wood in front of you and you were like okay this is perfect this is what I'm going to use to build my house but I feel the Lord says no this is not the the wood that I have for you and I just feel the Lord says be patient because I'm sending proper wood so that you can make a proper house because I, I feel that the enemy wants you to do make something that but it's not 
it's not the actual materials that you need. It's not going to it's not going to be sturdy or stable for you to build a proper house. And I just feel the Lord says, wait on me. I'm going to send I'm going to send you the proper material. So I just I just feel the Lord says, I want you to, to receive my rest and know that I'm sending wood, I'm sending resources into your life. You have a big calling to make this house. And I, I really feel how um you know the scripture says let's bring heaven to earth, and that's what God has called you to to be a light, to be the light of this world. And I just feel how God is restoring joy, rest in peace, and knowing that it's okay. Right now, God is going to provide the wood that I need for me to do what I need to do. You're so precious to Him. God loves you so much. God bless you, Joanna. Thank you, Joanna, for being here tonight. Please remember, write to say comment. The next word is for Xavier. Xavier, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a glass that you, uh, you are inside a glass chamber. And it's very restricting, even with your voice. You, you can't get your voice out. Uh, even though when people look from the outside, they don't see this glass. And you're, you're trying to tell people, listen, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have the freedom that I want and that I need. Um, and they, they can't communicate with you. And I see this misunderstanding, this, this whole thing that is blocking you. Uh, the connection between you and other people. I just see how the Holy Spirit comes and He lifts it up and He allows you that freedom to speak once again. And I just see how there's a, uh, you have to renew your mind. There's things in your mind that's going to change so that you renew it to, according to the will of God for your life. And when you do that, you're going to realize that a lot of these things are automatically going to fall in place and a lot of things are already going to be resolved even though you're going to like, okay, today I'm going to, Resolve this and you find the person and then they say no don't worry. This is already being sorted. Be blessed Amen, Xavier, please leave us a comment Thanks. Word is for Paulette. The Lord says that The best place to be is in my presence in his presence Even when when times are, are hard or when times are, are very good The best place to be is in his presence presence and and sometimes you're wondering where should I be where should I go shouldn't I be doing something the Lord is just saying I want you to be with me that's what you should be doing come and sit at my table and I hear the Lord saying that he doesn't it's not just a feeling that the that the Lord wants you to start craving it's his face that you must crave it's not that that feeling of oh I got goosebumps now it is that deep reverence for the Lord and, and, and it's not like a fake it till you make it, but your body needs to come in submission and say, I, I'm not in control, I, my spirit is in control, and we want our, and are hungry for the presence and the face of Jesus, and I will submit, your flesh will submit to the presence of the Lord and go in deeper. That's, that's the calling that the Lord is, is calling you right now. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Paulette, uh, God bless you. Hey, right, family. Um so I see, uh, I'm, I'm listening and I see there's already 12 people's names. That's more than we have space for. So I'm writing their names down on the list. And then uh, after we're done with the session, probably tomorrow, uh, I'll sit and I'll, uh, with uh, either Ian or Kimi or Amy, we'll sit and we'll minister to more people. Um, so I will make sure that we minister to every single person. Uh, I also see uh, Kerry Watson. Uh, gave us five dollars. I just want to say, Kerry, God bless you. Thank you very much. It's wonderful. All right. So um, the next person I want to minister to is Amanda Kutzer. All right. So uh, Amanda, uh, the Lord shows me how He heals you, and then I see after you healed how the healing of God starts to flow out of your life. And just like Jesus went and He laid hands on the sick and they recovered, so the Lord is going to use you, going to lay that, your, your hands on the sick, and the Lord is activating that gift of healing in your life, along with that encouragement gift that you had for a long, long time. But I just see that the Lord says, you're not going to only encourage people, but you're going to demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit uh, through your life. And then I saw a belt. That the Lord put on you and I've just felt that the Lord is putting the truth of God on you is giving you a revelation and uh, what you do is going to be founded on the word and on the truth of God God bless you Amanda Amen God bless you Amanda God loves you this next word is for um Shinbaga Shinbaga God loves you so much and I I see how God places his two hands on your face and says look at me look at me don't look down look don't look to the right to the left 
look at me and I just see how God is is really bringing so much focus into your life and he's saying to you I have a plan um, I saw a picture of how um, you have a desire to protect the people around you your family and I see how you like even if I could describe the picture God showed me, it was like you were trying to like paint the fence around you guys, maintain the fence, make sure you guys are all protected. But um, but sometimes people um, go out and, and you're like, why? It's it's not the safe place. And I and I just feel how the Lord says, just lay them at my feet. I will protect them. I have a plan for them. So I don't know if it's your kids or if it's. Um, just um, some people close to you in your life, but I just feel how the Lord says, um, know that I am their savior and I will make a plan. But you do have a calling to pray for people and to, to intercede. And there's a prayer anointing over your life. So I wanna encourage you, don't stop praying. You are planting seeds um, and there's so much power in our prayers. And I just feel the Lord is bringing, um, is really calling you to, to the next level, um, coming into his presence, being in his love. And, and I, I really feel that there's a lot of breakthroughs that God is going to bring to you, especially financial breakthroughs. God loves you. He's got you. God bless you. Thank you, Shimbago, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Barnabas. Barnabas, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of an open door where you can go through. I see how the Lord is giving you resources. And I just see how the Lord gives you a map. And He says, this is what I want you to do. So He's sending you out on a journey. Uh, and you've got certain goals that you need to achieve. So really pray with the Holy Spirit to get your goals, what you need to do. Uh, get an action plan and strategy in place because I see this time is going to be busy but it's not going to be like busy uh, keeping you busy not being able to do other things you're going to be busy doing the things that the Lord has called you for so it's a very good season for you but you definitely need to work at it be blessed Abram and Barnabas please leave us a comment this next verse for Johnson Johnson, the Lord shows me how how the Lord is just asking you to just to have faith in Him and, and have faith that He is doing a good work. The Lord shows me how He's taking like this blindfold and how He's how He's putting it on your eyes and how He is saying that that you must trust me that I will lead you that I will that I will take you to to where you need to go and and, and and this isn't not like blind faith because you're having faith in the Lord and that is that is perfect faith when you when you believe in him and that is what the Lord is asking you to do is take like this step I even see like how you do this trust fall with the Lord like my hands are up I'm not going to hold myself anymore I'm going to fall into your arms and the Lord says he will catch you be blessed uh, Johnson uh, God bless you uh, Lord is very very proud of you loves you very very much uh, God bless you uh, so family uh, I am making a list here I've got a re 15 names uh, on a separate list, um, I'm sure there's probably five more names that I didn't even put up yet. So there's probably going to be 20 names that's on a separate list and I'm going to get together uh, with either Jan or, or Kimi or Amy and we'll sit and we'll minister to each one of you. So you don't have to fear, if you want to receive ministry, you can still put your name in the comments and I'll make sure that I'll put you on a list. So the next person is Hannah Mines. Okay, Hannah, uh, the Lord shows me three works or three jobs. The first one where you, where you work is you get training, uh, you learn skills, uh, and you also learn how to, to work in that particular environment. Okay? And then I see how you move to a second job. And so in that second job, again, now you're going to a higher level. As, as of the first one, you just had to learn. Second one, you had to learn how to specialize. And, um, and now you become someone that's really sought after. And then the third time, doors open up for you and you, you have a lot of choices. Uh, because the hand of God is on you, you've got experience, people want you, and you've proven yourself to be someone uh, that, that's in high demand. Okay? And so I just felt that the Lord says, just go through the process and don't feel rejected when the one job stops. Um, um, it just means that season is over, move on to the next one. And so I felt that you wanted to say, but I want it, I want it to be like it was. But I felt that the Lord says, no, I'm opening up new doors and it's going to be different and it's going to be new in the future. Uh, but you're going to see the foundation that I've already built in your life. It's going to help you on the next one to build up again. 
Oh, I hope it makes sense, Hannah. But the Lord is with you with your job and He's going to supply it to you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Hannah. God loves you. Um, that's such a beautiful name. There's, there's a, I really feel that God has given you that name for a reason. It's a stunning name. This next word is for Dawn Stewart. Dawn, how are you? It's good to see you. All right. So Dawn, while praying for you, I saw you as Ruth and you were at the feet of God and you were, and you were, sorry, not, sorry, not Ruth, uh, Mary, <laughs> sorry, Mary and Martha. Um, and you were at the feet of Jesus and you were worshiping him. And I saw how you, you were crying before him and you were crying out to him um, because we need him. And, and, and I know your, and I feel like your, when all of us do, our churches, our families need him. And I see you in a group of people and everyone is standing. And, and for me personally, it was, I always had this thought, okay, if you're, st I don't know, if, you, if you're standing up and then that means like you can handle the presence of God because you're standing and the people that are on their knees and then they're like, they can't. But at the same time, it's, it's about being obedient. And when the, when you feel the presence of God and you feel in your heart, okay, I have to humble myself and get down on my knees because I, I feel that in my heart, the Holy Spirit saying, well, I just feel there's a presence. And you just do it. It doesn't mean that, that you can't. And I just feel that there's like a battle of religion right now that you're facing. And I just feel the Lord says, don't look at the people around you. Come and kneel at my feet. This is the season. This is the time for people to come and kneel at the feet of God. And I see how you kneel before Jesus' feet and as a leader how all these other people come and kneel before the feet of Jesus not caring what other people think because God is worthy and I just feel the Lord says that you have a calling to proclaim my holiness my righteousness you have an anointing to be a lighthouse to people to say this is the son of God and we and he is worthy to lay down before him so I just really feel the Lord says just lay down before me and 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 know that I am stronger than any um any religion, any any battle from the enemy, God's love, God, a relationship with God, He, our King, is is so strong. Um, God loves you, Dawn. I really hope this makes sense. You are such a blessing. God bless you. Thank you for being here tonight, Dawn. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Sonia. Sonia, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you sitting in a car and you're trying to start it. It doesn't want to start, uh, but the Lord says you have fuel but the pump is not working. And I just see how the Lord says pray. Pray, there's things that is resisting you uh, so that you don't flow as you're supposed to flow. And I just see it's not that you're not willing, you, you're definitely willing, you are able to do it, but I just see there's a lot of resistance. And therefore, I uh, pray in the Spirit. When you pray in the Spirit, it's a very, very good thing. Uh, but when you feel you're not sure what to do, pray in the Spirit. When you are on your way doing things, if you're alone, pray in the spirit i just see the more you pray in the spirit the more fluently you will start to flow with everything that you need to flow and you'll really connect to the knowledge of god where he's just going to give you a lot of wisdom to flow properly be blessed amen sonia please leave us a comment this next word is for peter peter the lord says that he wants you to to pick up the hammer and start building the lord has given you everything that you need do not think that if there's something you need do not think that the lord will not supply it if the lord has given you a vision for something that is his vision that that's his vision and he wants you to 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 start to start to build it so i hear the word saying just start start and the lord will supply i hear the the lord shows me the woman at the well and she came to the well for water and she and then she left with this everlasting water and the lord shows me how sometimes we come to the lord with like this is this is what i'm here for and the lord knows exactly what we need and he will send us with with that and so much more with what we need and it might not be what we came for but he gives us exactly what we need be blessed hey peter uh, god bless you um, so, family, I quickly counted. I got 25 names of people that's beyond the list that we're going to minister to tonight. So, I'm going to sit uh, with uh, either Kimi or Amy or Jan, and we will make sure that we minister to every single person that put their name uh, on the list. So, you don't have to worry, but you can just look on the Unity with Heaven. Uh, every day we release a video of 10 names, and you'll see your name will be on one of them. I'll make sure that we minister to every single one. All right. So the next word is for Brian, uh, John Peter. All right. So Brian, what the Lord is showing to me is how he blessed you with finances and you were a steward. I, 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 don't, I don't understand exactly what happened, but I see you lost a lot of the finances that you had. Okay. 
Um, and then I see how the Lord um, give you back maybe three or four times the amount that you lost. And I felt that the Lord says, even when you go through the situation where you felt, well, wow, I had and now I lost so much. Uh, the Lord says, do not fear, put your trust in him. Uh, and the Lord reminds me of the story of the rich young man. How the Lord said, just take all that you have, give it to the poor and come and follow me. And you know, what, what does the Lord say in Proverbs? If you give to the poor, the Lord will give it back to you. So I just felt that the Lord says, do not fear. The Lord is going to bring increase and even what the enemy has stolen from you, the Lord will give you back seven times. So I felt you need to have a new faith and a new positive outlook on your future because the Lord says, I'm going to bless you. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Joshua. God loves you, Brian. God bless you. God's hand is upon you. This next person is Joshua. Joshua, God loves you very much. And I, and I just while praying, I saw how you came before God with a lot in your heart. But the thing is, you didn't have to say anything. God just knew. And I saw how, just like David, when he played his heart before God, but I saw how you were like worshiping before God, but you just played your guitar or you just played an instrument and God knew, and you didn't sing anything, you didn't say anything. God knew exactly what you were, exactly, He just knew. And I just feel the Lord says, I know Joshua, I'm with you. I, I, my hand is upon you and everything that you're feeling, facing, walking through, the, the giants that you're right now, battling against. I just feel how the Lord says, my hand is upon you and I will be your armor and I will strengthen you. You will not wear the armor of the, this world, but you will wear my armor and I will be your covering. And then I see a picture of how God nourishes you with his word because you do need to be equipped with his word. And I just feel there's like a new, um, there's just like a new, um, there's just so much more that God wants to bring to you and a new perspective of his of the father's heart that he wants to show you in this time and I feel that you have a calling to be a father to and a, and a mentor and a leader to a lot of people and right now God is refilling your heart of his word where you're rediscovering who he is um, Joshua God loves you so much and this is a closing of an old chapter and God is opening up in you he loves you God bless you Thank you, Joshua, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next one is for Jock. Jock, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw you sitting at the table. Uh, you want to write something down, but it is as if you constantly forget what you wanted to write down. And you, you, don't, you, you don't manage to flow and write down what is necessary. And I just see how um, the Lord says, I'm going to help you with the restrictions. I'm going to help you to flow. Uh, but also, I just see how you need to trust the Lord. Put your faith in the Lord and say, Okay, here I am, Lord. I'm listening. And even if you don't get anything, just go and sit, be disciplined, and wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. The more you're going to wait on the Lord, the more you're going to practice um, your, your spirit to listen to the Lord and, and be submissive, your body submissive to your spirit, so that what you receive from the lord you will be able to retain it so even if it doesn't work out the first time don't quit and don't say it doesn't work keep on up until you master it be blessed him and jacques i saw you already left us a comment thank you um this next word is for janet donna the lord shows me that there's a mandate on your on your life for prayer to pray for others to to intercede um um, the Lord shows me how He's going to use you as as a as a gateway of, of releasing healing and blessing. The Lord shows me when you pray that these that these like streams just flow out of you and the, and it just goes and touch other people. Like you stand in the gap saying, like Lord, I'm standing here for for so and so. Please come and bless them. And the Lord shows me that because you had faith, He is going to go and bless them. He his his power is going to go and meet with that person i hear the lord saying the lord shows me daniel and how and how the the how they were saying like you shouldn't pray to another god and i hear the lord saying like sometimes people are going to say why are you doing this you shouldn't be doing this you might get get in trouble and even though those things might happen stay firm in the lord even in the roughest times daniel still stayed strong and and he prayed and the lord delivered him and i hear that so that's what the lord's going to do for you be blessed hey i say janet god bless you all right awesome so the next word is for daniela okay so daniela uh what the lord uh, is, is showing me 
is how he has called you to be a bright light uh, that shines uh, and how a, a gate of creativity opens up in you. Now, I don't know if you are one that makes art and write and uh, sing and worship and all of that creative uh, realm coming out of you, but I see how you connect with God and how you draw out of heaven and you bring creativity into your environment, you bring solutions, strategies that God has given to you and the Lord says, I've made you to be a beautiful light that shines for me and you're going to, uh, even where you are, people are going to sometimes feel a little bit judged when, because when they're in your presence, they're going to experience the holiness of God and they're going to want to repent and turn back to God. God bless you, Daniela. I mean, God bless you, Daniela. God loves you so much. And I, I just saw a crown um, that God is placing on your head. God bless you. This next word is for Amanda. Amanda Owen, God loves you very much. Um, the picture God showed me for you was how God has given you an, an anointing to be a messenger. And I see how, um, you know, just like those weather people that they, they, they stand in the weather and they're like, okay, it's freezing here, guys. This is what's happening. And, and um, they, they explain what's going on. And I just feel how the Lord has placed messages in your heart and, and um, the Lord says it's time to speak and to tell people, hey, this is what's going on. This is what the Lord is saying. And I just feel the Lord is giving you the boldness and the confidence. But also, um, obviously, if you're looking at a camera and talking to people about the news or something, you've got to make eye contact. And I just see how you look at people um, through the eyes of Jesus and how God has placed the boldness and confidence. Um, and, and the word says that those who look at, at the Lord are radiant. Um, and I just see how you spend time with God and you look at it his face and how your face starts to shine and when you look at people in the eyes and you share those messages that God has placed in your heart that God has called you to speak people will feel will know that this is God um, speaking through you're such a blessing and I, and I really want to encourage you keep on seeking God's face he's really shining through you God bless you thank you Amanda for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for Shandesha Shandesha the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of you standing there and the Lord is wrapping around, covering you. Uh, I see so that you're not exposed and I see how the Lord truly loves you. I see restoration, I see peace, I see love. I just see how the Lord is going to bring restoration to your life. It's going to take some time. Just be patient and enjoy the presence of the Lord. Even though I think that one of the things that we neglect is we neglect enjoying the presence of the Lord. We expect only... Uh, to get the presence of the Lord when we need something from the Lord. Yeah. But in any circumstance in your life, learn and train yourself to be aware of the presence of the Lord that is always around you and that you'll have that reverent fear for Him that is with you. Be blessed. Amen, Shandesha, please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Edgar. Edgar, the Lord shows me how you need to come into like this, this fighting slash receiving slash shield stance how you are standing very very firm and and you that that's like standing firm in the lord and even though like all of these things are coming at you you're not you're just focusing on the lord and i hear the lord saying that this is going to require like extensive focus like intense extensive intense focus because the, once we are it the lord shows me like these this very heavy wave that he that is coming to you, like uh, that you need to prepare for this this thing that the, the the enemy has planned. And I hear the Lord saying that right now I want you to train yourself to to focus on me. And and I hear the Lord saying that, that that's going to take a lot of practice, but focus on me and come into that receiving um, stance where where you're just so. I don't know how to explain this, but the Lord is saying that He wants to be your shield in, in this situation. So come into that knowing that the Lord is my shield, the Lord is uh, surrounding me, and I don't need to fear about what's ahead because right now it's me and Him. Be blessed. Okay, Igor, I'll just add to you, just like Moses had supernatural faith in God to raise that um, staff of his and the, the Red Sea opened up. I felt that the Lord is giving you that supernatural faith that you will stand in front of your family and you will raise the, the authority that God has given to you and the Lord will do a miracle for you and for your family and so you don't have to fear. God bless you, Edgar. Okay, so the next uh, person I want to minister to is Mel Melandri Kutzer. Okay, uh, so Melandri, 
uh, what I felt the Lord was showing to me is how He plants you as a tree, but that tree took four years before it started to produce fruit. So it's like on a fifth year, then it produced good fruit. And so, but now you go, it's the first year, there's no fruit. And I want to be successful, but I'm not successful and I'm not sure why. And then uh, the second year, almost the same thing. But then the third year, there's a little bit of fruit. And then the fourth year, there's more fruit. And then you see that fifth year break through lots of fruit. Okay? And so I felt that the Lord says, just endure Keep going. The Lord has a lot of grace for you. He's got supernatural provision for you. There's a space for you where you're protected. And so the Lord says, just grow at your pace. You will see the fruit will come as you are obedient to the Lord. God bless you, Melandri. Amen. God bless you, Melandri. God loves you very, very much. This next word is for Mishka. Mishka, um, the Lord is calls you his beloved and I just see how God gives you a big hug and he says I love you um, and I just see how God with his blood with the blood of Jesus how he washes away the past and also a lot of um, hurts that has happened in the past I just see how God washes that away and how God completely heals you completely and I see how um, there were a lot of areas in your life where you thought okay this is um, let me show you the picture I saw. While praying for you, I saw a picture of a garden, and and this is your heart, and or this is you. And there were a few areas, patches in this garden where there was nothing growing there, and you thought um, that will never grow again. It can't be restored. It's lost. Um, and I just see how God comes in and he puts his hand on that soil and all of a sudden all these beautiful red roses um, pop up and I just feel the Lord says this is a season of restoration this is a season of my glory to pour out into your life where you shall no longer be alone and empty but you will be full with the glory of God God has given you a voice to worship him and to sing and to declare his glories God has called you to be a forerunner and the season of um sadness is God and this is a, now, a, a new hope that God has given you. God loves you Mishka and God is calling you to be a, like this beacon of his love. So step into his love and overflow um, with it. God loves you. God bless you. Thank you Mishka for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next word is for Louise. Louise the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of an old lock and a key that was given to you and you never opened the lock uh, but when you try to open the lock, you realize that this is not even the right key for the lock. And I see there's things that you have been trained a long time ago um, that is not accurate. It is restricting you for a purpose, but it's not a good purpose because the ones that trained you uh, wanted you to be restricted. Now, that is what religion does. Religion keeps you away from certain things. You believe everything is in order, everything is right. But only up until you try and you experiment with it, you're going to realize that not all is what I expect it to be. And the Lord says, I want to come and trade with you. Bring all of the things that you're unsure about and your, your traditions and your religion. And I'm going to give you a revelation um, where I can share with you in this relationship. Where I can just show you what is the truth. Be blessed. Amen. Please leave us a comment. This next one is for Renee. The Lord shows the Lord shows me how you are this pot, and and how he is, this vase is vase, and how he is just coming and filling you up. And, and I hear the Lord saying that as, as you get filled with Him, and as you are continuously filled with Him, as so the cracks will be filled. There will be no spillage in places that there shouldn't be, only overflow. Once you are filled, there will be overflow. And I hear the Lord saying that, that not wait for the overflow before you start pouring out, but I, I hear the Lord saying that, that right now for you is a time of stillness, to be in His presence, to just soak in His presence. And, and I hear how, how you must set that is by praying in tongues and, and declaring the word of the Lord and then resting in that, sitting in that, knowing that this is who he is, this is what I have spoken. And then you sit and you just rest in that and see how the Lord comes and fills you up till you overflow. But as he just clears, cl um, fixes those cracks. Be blessed. Hey, Renee, uh, God bless you. Uh, I, I know you're going through a restoration in your life. 
uh, and the Lord is going to do amazing things through you. Hey, God bless you, Renee. Hey, okay, Martin. So the Lord shows me all these families that are going to be blessed because of you. And I felt that the Lord has given you an anointing uh, for entrepreneurship, uh, an anointing to manage people, uh, to, uh, crea to create platforms where people can operate on. And I felt uh, because you're going to build business and you're going to expand uh, where you work and uh, there's going to be more job opportunities for lots of other families and their lives are going to be influenced in a very positive way because of the input and the encouragement the leadership uh, and that fatherly anointing that god has placed upon your life and i felt that the lord says even in this season it's a season of strategies that they release to you blueprints for your future god bless you Amen. God loves you. God bless you, Martin. This next word is for Liz. Liz, the Lord loves you very much. And I, the, the scripture that came to mind uh, while praying for you was, um, do not worry about today. Uh, I mean tomorrow. <laughs> do not worry about tomorrow. Um, for tomorrow we'll have its own worries. But focus on today. And, and what we have is today. And <laughs> Sorry, there was a dragonfly flying around in the room and now we just sorted it out. Um, so, okay, anyway, so I just see how God is taking away all your worries for, for the next day. And I, I, just, I just feel the Lord says, um, I'm bringing peace and restoration. And then I, I feel there's a lot of things that... Um, that the Lord says, you know, just as Jesus, when he was like in that boat and the storm was happening and everyone was freaking out and Jesus just slept and he had so much peace. And I feel that's the type of peace God wants to give you through all the storms, through all the worries and, and, and the hecticness of life. I just see how you are sleeping on that boat in so much peace, knowing that God is with you and he's protecting you. And I feel that's a gift that God wants to give you. So I want to encourage you tonight, um, before you go to sleep, don't, um, yeah, go to bed early. Don't, don't stay, don't, I do this a lot. Don't open up your eyes and think about everything that is going on. But the Lord says to you, close your eyes and know, and sleep and know that I am with you and I will, will bring victory into your life. God loves you so much, Liz. Um, there's really such a big calling in your life and I really want to encourage you, sleep with peace. God bless you. Thank you, Liz, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for Christelle. Christelle, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw you as a small calf in a crawl and you just want to get out there. You want to run free and you uh, just want to experience everything that it, there is to experience. But I see there is a purpose for you being in that crawl where there is healing and restoration taking place. So even though you want to experience all of the, let's call it the outdoors, uh, the Lord is busy helping you and protecting you tremendously, but He also allows you a chance to heal so that when you go out, you can go out properly and not injure yourself again. So I just see the process where you're in, even though you, you don't understand this right now, uh, the Lord is busy healing and restoring you, but He's also imparting wisdom into you. But just know that the Lord's doing it because He loves you and He cares a lot about you. Be blessed. Amen, Christelle. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for uh, Leanna. The Lord gives, shows me um, Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run to it and are safe. And the Lord shows me how you know His word, and that is surrounding you. His name is surrounding you. And the Lord shows me how how um, the verse where you, like, you step on scorpions and snakes, but, but they won't, it, it will not harm you. Because you have built that foundation, that, that wall around, you have entered in. And the Lord wants to continue that, that, that His work in you. And I hear the Lord saying that He's not done meeting you. He's not done um, teaching you things because He is the teacher. The Lord shows me how He is opening up your eyes even more for, for new things, for new experience, new visions. And I hear the Lord saying that these are things that you are going to need to write down because this needs to be almost like like a document that this needs to be remembered be this hey as a liana uh god bless you all right so family it was awesome to to minister to you so it's almost three names uh, that's still on the list uh, i will get uh either ian or kimi or amy to sit with me and we will make sure that we will minister to each one of you but now we're going to go into a time uh, of communion when we take communion 
we trade all our uh, shortages, all our troubles, every area in our life that's broken, we give that to God and we receive wholeness uh, from Him. And so uh, this week I feel was for a lot of people uh, like a war or like a time of warfare, but the Lord is saying to you, I'm going to give you breakthrough, uh, I'm going to give you a release. And so what I want you to do is I want you to take all the burdens, all the worries, all the fears, all the tension that you have on you. And I want you to give it to God. Remember, we don't walk with an expectation on a person or something that happened or, or anything like that. We are walking with God and He is the one that carries our burdens. He takes care of us. Okay? And so uh, sometimes we tend to say, oh, the economy is bad, so it's going to go bad with me. Or we think, okay, uh, there's no opportunity, so there's no opportunity for me. Remember, you are part of the kingdom of God, you in His economy. And he's the one that opens up opportunities and takes care of each one of you. Okay? Um, I also want to say, just uh, uh, Dawn, thank you very much for your gift. God bless you for that. Okay, so um, I got here a piece of bread that Kimmy has baked for us. And this represents the body of Jesus that was broken for us. So just take that and, and just break it. And so Jesus, thank you for your body that was broken for us. And I just want to... Uh, hold this up and I want to do a prayer and, I, and if you can say something out loud with your own mouth so that you can put your own signature on this prayer so Lord we come to you today and as we break the bread Lord we bring all our shortcomings uh, all our uh, brokenness or our burdens that we carry Lord we want to bring all of that and we want to give it to you and so Lord we receive today the wholeness that you have paid for us on the cross to receive in our bodies, in our souls, in our spirit, in our lives, in our family, in every area where we are. And so Lord, we make a trade with you today. Lord, thank you that you love us so, so much. You died for us on a cross and you allowed your blood to flow for us. And so Lord, we receive that gift uh, that you've paid for us tonight in the name of Jesus. All right. You can go eat and have your bread. Okay, so I got water. We didn't have juice at our house tonight, so I just want to use the uh, drink the water. And this is a symbol of the blood of Jesus. So, Jesus, thank you for your blood, the blood of the covenant. And Lord, tonight we want to receive. The blood of Jesus on our lives. We want to come in agreement with the blood of Jesus. Everything that your blood speaks over our lives. Lord, your word is continually speaking over our lives. And Lord, we come in agreement with that. And so Lord, through our lives, Lord, we're going to manifest the, the, the purpose uh, and the miracles that you want to release. And so Lord, that's why we come in to you. Lord, you said, if you ask anything in my name, I will give it to you. And so, Lord, we step tonight into Jesus, into you. We become one with you. Even as we partake of your blood, Lord, we become one with you in a covenant with you. And so, Lord, we thank you for that. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, as you drink it, just see how you come in him and you make a covenant with God tonight. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, family. We love and appreciate each one of you. It was wonderful for us to, to minister to you. I think this week was a very exciting week. Uh, and we're going to have a wonderful rest. And we look forward to Monday uh, to minister to you again. Uh, rest well. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.